if I don't rock with somebody, you don't rock with somebody. If you don't rock with somebody, I don't rock with somebody. That's like marriage one-on-one. There's a real reason to not rock with somebody. Okay, her calling me a bitch and then lying about it is okay with you? Ralph said, your feeling. I think Drew's point was that it's family and there should be a line like family supposed to be an alliance the opinions expressed in our content is for entertainment purposes only we do not assume liability or endorse any of the third party content used in our materials okay okay so we're gonna keep this conversation going with real housewives of atlanta episode 16. we see in this episode Ralph showed his ass. Both cheeks. Who hasn't filed for divorce? So the question I have for you, is this somebody who you really want to be with? Is this somebody who you really want to reconnect with? Some things is really not worth it. Okay. What in the motherfucking world? Uh, <laughs> and we all talk about it. A few things that he said or he did, we're going to talk about. First thing we're going to talk about is when Drew brought to his attention that his cousin Courtney called her a biatch. Mm -hmm. And Ralph didn't really come to her rescue. While we were shooting, Monietta came and we were kind of talking about, you know, the whole Courtney thing. You called your cousin-in-law a bitch. I you called said the a bitch said Drew. How does it make you feel? That was for you. You don't have any particular reaction or feeling. I've heard Kenya call you a bitch. But this is family I've heard, business. I've heard, That's I've right. heard Marlo call you a bitch. But it's not just about the word bitch. You don't know her. This is who she is behind her back. Be behind our back? What'd she say offensive to me? To him, it was like, Everybody calls you that. Mm -hmm. What's the big deal? Just think about that. I'm with him on that part. Because like you said, everybody in that friend group and then called you a bitch, you be back cool. And so what's the point of me trying to put my cape on and try to come rescue just for you to go a couple of days later and be back cool or resolve and y'all be cool? With Courtney? Yeah. What, like he's saying, his, his, what he's saying is like everybody in that group has called you a B and you're friends with them. You're still cool with them. So... You want me to just get involved in this when there's a record? Like, no, nah, that's pretty much just girl cattiness. Y'all figure that out. That's what I feel like he's saying. And now that it's his cousin, you're like, yeah, she said this, da, da, da. No, I've seen this before. Y'all get mad, y'all get cool. Y'all get mad, y'all get cool. Staying out the way. I think Drew's point was that it's family and there should be a line. Like, family's supposed to be an alliance. If she's my family, she's supposed to you know, bond with me. Well, Drew, She's not supposed to talk about me to the rest of them. We're supposed to be a family, me, you, and Courtney against the world. I think she felt like she wanted Ralph to relay that message to Courtney. Look, if I don't rock with somebody, you don't rock with somebody. If you don't rock with somebody, I don't rock with somebody. That's like marriage one-on-one. -on -one. There's a real reason right. to not rock with somebody. Okay, her calling me a bitch and then lying about it is okay with you? Ralph said, your feelings but you are Drew already said in the previous episode that she was separating herself i'm not going to view her as your cousin i'm just going to view her as courtney yeah because i i feel like she already she was seeing that she didn't care for courtney which understandable mm -hmm. but i think that even though on camera they tried to put courtney and drew together you can see that they just never clicked Mm -hmm. I think that the personalities or whatever it was, it, they never vibed or whatnot. And I think that Drew wanted some type of a alliance with her husband against Courtney. But yeah. Courtney is with her husband. So clearly she's on, well, like I said, it's his, his family member and not, and not her family member. And they're going through a divorce or whatnot. But well, my thing is to this though, what do you feel about, say it was you in that situation. It was you and your husband. And you know, say y'all have gone through a rough patch, but he's still your husband, y'all still together. And one of his cousins, you know, out there talking trash about you. Mm -hmm. Would you want your husband to be on your side, check your cousin, or you and your husband get together and y'all having a powwow about that person? Wouldn't you want some type of alliance with your husband? 
against that family member? Um, with that family member, if it was I you, I would want him to check that family member. I'm not gonna tell him to pick a side. Like I'm more of a I'm more of a right is right, wrong is wrong type of person. Like I'm that person. I'll say so myself. <laughs> I don't know. If you sit there against a while, your cousin. Okay, you gonna want to interfere because I'm not gonna have to say anything to me. I'm gonna say something back. Who is a cousin? Yeah. No, but I said I'm saying put yourself in the exact same situation. You got somebody back there talking trash. You, you've already asked her, and she said no. I ain't call you that or whatever. You find out later on that she did, and you're having a conversation with your significant other uh, about, about it. this person or whatever. Wouldn't you want your significant other to form an alliance with you, or would you want him to kind of brush it off like uh, like Ralph said, where well, everybody calls you a B? To me, that's like condescending. He's like, whatever. It shows I I felt like she Drew felt alone. Nobody has my back, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm I'm in a marriage. I come to my husband, I even if it. he don't agree. And this is not me. the response I would expect from my husband. I definitely struggle as me not being able to share my feelings and feel valued and feel heard. Well, what Ralph is doing is not right, but I understand his reasoning. And then too, let's add. It. I said that was fake from the beginning. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was fake from the beginning. So you you want something that you know is long and gone. You know, I'm sleeping in separate rooms. I don't even care for you that much. So don't expect me. To, what uh, chaos said, I am not your knight in shining armor at this moment. Yeah, but you know, I don't care for you. Well, it seems to me like Drew, she's fighting for fighting her for the marriage. Ralph says he wants the marriage, but he's an ass. But Drew actually seems to me like she's physically trying to fight for the marriage. Or I believe we need to address why this behavior keeps happening and really gain some understanding and start to do the work to heal. We are literally fighting for our marriage. This is a big deal because Ralph hasn't been present for marriage counseling. So that's what I'm saying. So if she if she's trying to fight for the marriage, she's trying to to see if there's something there. Are you going to? I'm fighting for us. Can you fight for me? He that's what to. I saw. That's what he pretty much saw. He don't want to. What? Why well, fight for you when you go do the same thing next week? No. With somebody well, else. Well, my thoughts are if I am with somebody, like you said, I'm I'm probably not I'm not the type of person that's gonna um I would say form a witch hunt against the person that's talking about. I, mm-hmm. I wouldn't want that, but I would want to feel like my that you can at least validate my feelings. I think that's what it was. Like, even if, like you say, even if you think that, okay, Drew is a bitch. <laughs> At this moment in time, she just needed you to validate her feelings and feel like somebody was listening and on her side. And I felt like, you know, he didn't come through at all for that. Um, but like you said, marriage is over. Right, he don't care. Like, that's what I said. Let's be realistic. You can tell at this point, he doesn't want to save face anymore. They're yeah, playing tip for tat. Both cheeks right. on this one. You know, I don't care. <laughs> what? what you... She went downstairs to the sister and got what she needed <laughs> right there. You're missing the whole point. Everything happens. Let me help you. If she called her a banana, she don't like it. So if it's something that bothers her, that's all you start with. That's it. But that brings us to the other uh, topic <laughs> about Drew and Ralph. Mm. Ralph has decided to move out of their master bedroom. You moved out the room. That's because it's disrupted. When you come in the house at three o'clock in the morning and you come to bed to go to sleep, I'm up for like two hours. So I gotta do what I gotta do. So when are you moving back in the room? I don't know. Whenever I can get some stability. And the argument that he says, it it's a sense of freedom for him. You know, he's, what do he say, smelling the roses? Mm-hmm. And he, you know, a <laughs> whole lot of words that he was using to me sound that sound like somebody that was trapped and is now being released. Right. Is okay. What, is what I, what I got from it or whatnot. Me moving out the bedroom is me actually getting to a place where I'm comfortable. How does that feel? I think he's happy. Deliberating. What do you think about his argument of why he left the room? And do you feel like, what's really going on? You can only be fake so long. And guess what? It's all coming down. The curtains is opening up. The It's over with. The clo- No, curtains are <coughs> closed. The show is over with. This is the real them. We are seeing it all happening the last episode. <laughs> Ralph does not want to be there. 
he doesn't want to be there. He's not providing, he's not trying to protect her, and what mentally, emotionally, he don't care. He abandoned all of that. So him going to the other room, I guess he said off camera that he wants to um he wants to stay in the house, right? But he doesn't want to. So I'm like, he wants to be legally separated. He wants to keep the little attribute probably because they finance and stuff like that. Because I don't think they both. If they leave each other, they'll be able to maintain, like, live the lifestyle they live. I, that, that's pretty much what I see. I see, like, Ralph doesn't want the marriage, but he still wants the lifestyle. The right, the lifestyle and the benefits of a marriage outside of Drew. Like, I mean, he can do without Drew per se, uh, as far as a physical. Like, I mm -hmm. want somebody to sleep with because he can. He, from what we hear, he's been cheating anyway, so he can find that. But like you said, because it seems like. Drew's career is getting ready to take off. So that's where the money's going to be. I think, like I said, I, I'm not 100% sure of what Ralph does. And they kind of hinted throughout different episodes that he was in what technology, technology, but never really said, I mean, what he does. I mean, technology, he can work at a micro center. You know, who <laughs> right. knows? But I feel like he wants to hold on, like I said, to the house. To, you want the, the to the lifestyle that he got with Drew. Right, but he just doesn't want Drew. And then I, he probably wants to be around his kids as well. So he's like, mm -hmm. he, like I said, when he was he was there with the therapist, like, you know, I know another couple who's moved out of the bedroom and they uh, live in separate rooms and they're living their best life. It was the best thing for them. Her best friend, actually, they, they sleep in separate rooms and it's all good. They sleep in separate rooms and they both live in their best life. They also filed for divorce. Who hasn't filed for divorce? Drew can win and get what she wants, and I can win and get what I want. And like he's, I feel like he's pitching that ideal to to Drew, but Drew doesn't want that. It's like he wants Drew be in wants a relationship at this point. I don't even think he wants Drew. I just think he wants a roommate. <laughs> I just think he wants a roommate, okay. I, and I think if Drew would agree to, you know, Drew, you can go ahead and be gay. No, the Ty. way Courtney was talking in that confession was saying that Ralph already knew that she been doing that stuff. Like, he been doing his stuff, too. And it's like, for the show, once again, acting, for the show, <laughs> playing these roles. But I think Courtney is getting her information from Ralph. Right, and Ralph yeah. is bitter. And You're Ralph, right. some of that stuff just be straight accusations because That's of... What, you know, so I say I really can't take what she's saying. It's kind of messed up. Like I said, the other girls can call Drew a liar too. So who do we believe, Drew or Ralph? Drew or Ralph? Right, and I guess it'll all come out in their little court depositions or whatnot. What is what? But even still, I feel like if Drew would have allowed it, he would have stayed. In, he would be okay with staying in that house in his own room, living his own life. I just think Drew. Didn't want that. I think she wanted the whole the whole picture. She wanted him to act right, <laughs> get it together. Can't make somebody act right. They don't want to. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like we said too, we saw early on. I think in episode one. one. <laughs> yeah, episode or two. One. No, because they was in episode one. Episode two. And they was doing a little rock climbing. Yeah. Oh, husband, this and why that? And I was like, who does who that? that? Right. <laughs> right. So it was like it was fake from day one or whatnot. And I honestly think that. They ended this show early because it was just falling apart. I think that the Real Housewives was actually supposed to go a few more episodes or whatnot, but I think Drew and Ralph's situation was just volatile, and it was just like and they probably like we can get this on a whole new season. Oh, I think they want to be done. Like we want out. You know, like you said, this episode Ralph was a true ass. It was like he's tired of pretending. I don't like this woman. I don't like this marriage. I want out. And like if Drew want to keep acting like we're together, <laughs> I don't want to act anymore. I'm not an actor. She's about to lose I'm a in, peach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in technology. Michael said, <laughs> I want out. So he showed his ass, revealed his cards, and here we are hey. talking about it. It's about me making certain changes that make me feel good. I have that right too, and I'm getting to a place to where, where I can feel more liberated, work more free, and be able to smell the roses. What do you think? Let us know. Drop your two cent below. See ya. Hey y'all! Like, comment, and subscribe if you're messing with the vibe. See ya.